Philippines. Now, over the past few days, uh, I think all of us have been shaken by the images of the devastation wrought by uh, Typhoon uh, Haiyan. It's a heartbreaking reminder of how fragile life is, and among the dead are several Americans. So our prayers are with the Filipino people and with Filipino Americans across our country who are anxious about their family and friends back home. Uh, you know, one of our core principles is when friends are in trouble, America helps. Uh, as I told President Aquino earlier this week, the United States will continue to offer whatever assistance we can. Uh, our military personnel and USAID team do this better than anybody in the world, and they've been already on the ground working tirelessly to deliver food, water, medicine, shelter, uh, and to help uh, with airlift. Uh, today, the aircraft carrier USS George Washington and other ships arrived to help with search and rescue, uh, as well as supplies, medical care, and logistical support. And uh, more help is on the way. Uh, America's strength, of course, has always been more than just about what our government can do. It's also about what our citizens can do. Uh, it's about the big-heartedness of the American people when they see uh, other folks in trouble. So today I would encourage everybody who wants to help to visit uh, whitehouse.gov slash typhoon. That's whitehouse.gov slash typhoon. And that will offer you links to organizations that are working on the ground uh, in ways that you can support their efforts. Uh, our friends in the Philippines will face a long, hard road ahead, uh, but they'll continue to have a friend and partner in the United States of America. Uh, switching gears.